Hello dear students. Today we discuss about theories of emulsification in which the emulsification means the formation of unstable emulsion in that emulsion or when we discuss about the theories of emulsification when oil and water are mixed and agitated we found the droplets of varying sizes are yet produced a tension exists at interface because the two immiscible phases tends to have a different attractive forces for molecule at the interface a molecule of phase a is attracted into phase a and repelled by the phase b so in general greater the immiscibility greater the surface tension so a interfacial tension means what a interfacial tension at interface is defined as a work required to create one square of new interface then a fine dispersion of oil and water who requires a large area of interfacial contact and its production requires an amount of work equal to the product of interfacial tension and the area change so this work is the interfacial free energy imparted to the system and high interfacial free energy favors the reduction of interfacial area by two ways one is by causing the droplets to assuming the spherical shape and second by causing them to coalesce right so then this this is the reason the emulsion is thermodynamically unstable so we will discuss about what is mean by droplet stabilization in a droplet stabilization two conceptual alternatives exist for creating opaque that is milky appearing emulsion such emulsion can be formed and stabilized by lowering the interfacial tension and preventing the coalescing of droplets as per the classic emulsification theory emulsifying agent perform both the objectives right so the material which is used as an emulsifying agents are classified into three main categories that three categories are like surface active agent hydrophilic colloids and finely divided solid so they reduce interfacial tension and act as a barrier to droplet to coalescence since they are absorbed at the interface or the surface of droplet the emulsifying agent assists in the formation of emulsion by three mechanisms what are the three mechanisms by first of all reduction of interfacial tension so the absorption of surfactant who lower the interfacial interfacial tension between two solids a reduction in attractive forces of dispersed liquids for its own molecules lower the interfacial free energy of the system that prevent the coalescence or phase separation the role of emulsifying agent as interfacial barrier is most important not only efficient in lowering the interfacial tension but also excellent interfacial barriers then interfacial film formation in which the adsorbed emulsifying agent at the interface who surrounds the dispersed droplet forming a coherent mono or multi molecular film that prevents the coalescence the stability of emulsion depends upon type of film formed at the interface which in turn depends upon the type of emulsifying agents then mono molecular film theory so role of surface active agent is important in this formation of mono molecular film the formation of film by a surfactant on the surface of water or that oil droplets so it is responsible 
to accept an amphiphilic molecule to align itself at a water oil interface in most energetically. The favorite position is oleophilic position, so oil phase and hydrophilic portion in aqueous phase. So surfactant tend to concentrate at interface and that emulsifiers at adsorb at oil water interface as monomolecular film. So this formation of monomolecular film depend upon the nature, characteristics, concentration and combination of surfactants. In which the first film is gaseous film, so the adsorbed surfactant molecules that separate means that do not adhere to each other, so they move freely around the interface. Example like your anionic surfactant sodium diodecal sulfate. Then the charged sulfate head groups repel one another in aqueous solution. So the film strongly attached to him and then that emulsion is stable. Likely which fix the coalescence which is occurs. Second film is condensed film in that if the concentration of high enough it forms a rigid film between immiscible phases. So which act as a mechanical bar to both the adhesion and coalescence of the droplets. So molecule of long chain fatty acid that is your palmitic and steric acid are more tightly packed which forms a film that is steeply rises from the uh, compression. So as a chain network or as a chain which interlock uh, the film do not move freely and then emulsion is stable. Third one film is expanded film that formed by the oleic acid. The hydrocarbon chain in oleic acid are less cohesive and less orderly packed in liquid than a steric acid. So the presence of branched and bent shaped hydrocarbon chain bulky head groups and multiple polar group who causes lateral cohesion that reduce an expanded film to be formed. For that purpose non-ionic surfactant can be used. The fourth film is an interficial complex condensed film. To improve the stability the combination of surfactant are often used rather than the single surfactant. So combination of water soluble surfactant that produce gaseous film and oil soluble surfactant that produce interficial complex condensed film. Uh, example of surfactant like sodium diodic, uh, sodium cetyl sulfate and cholesterol. The next film is a lamellar liquid crystalline film that stable emulsion comprise liquid crystalline layers on interface of emulsified droplets with a continuous phase. So three component system will be formed like oil, water and lamellar liquid crystals. Those which is shown in this figure, a lamellar liquid crystal consisting of consecutive layers of water emulsifier, then oil emulsifier and water. The next uh, approach is hydrophilic colloids. So they may form a multi-molecular film. So polysaccharide and proteins do not lower the interfacial tension, but to form a multi-molecular film at oil water interface. It should be strong and elastic and give mechanical protection to coalescence. So the electrostatic charges or electro charge, electrostatic re charge repulsion due to the carboxylic acid or carboxylic group of polysaccharides and amino acid group of proteins. They may form O by W type of stable emulsions. This is the example diagrammatic representation of multimolecular film which is formed by hydrophilic colloids. Then next approach is finely divided solids. So solid particles which forms a film finely divided solid particles are lodged at the interface. They adhere strongly to each other forming a stable film at interface. So stable emulsion which the solid particles which is weighted by one of the phase that is weighted by water. So they may form so O by W emulsion or if it is weighted by the oil then they form W by O emulsion which looks like this. And then electro electrical repulsion. In that electrical repulsion interfacial films or lamellar films alter the rate of coalescence of droplets by acting as a barrier. So in addition similar film can produce 
repulsive electrical forces between approaching droplets such repulsion is due to electrical double layer so which may arises from electrically charged groups oriented on the surface of emulsified globules so example like in case of o by w emulsion that is stabilized by sodium soap not only surfactant concentration at interface but because of polar nature they are oriented as well so the hydrocarbon tail dissolved in the oil droplet while the ionic heads are facing continuous aqueous phase as a result surface of droplet studded with the charged groups so this produces a surface charge on droplets while a cation of opposite sign oriented near the surface which forms electrical double layer and which looks like this right so the stability of emulsion the physical properties and stability of emulsion is similar so that garrett who defined the stable emulsion as one that would maintain the same number of size of particles of the dispersed phase per unit volume of weight of continuous phase so the thermodynamic stability thermodynamic stability and general stability are different aspects it is depends on the observations so shelf life is another one parameter to describe the stability of emulsion that is we can call this kinetic stability and kinetic stability that is we can call physical chemical properties that do not change during the storage an emulsion is thermodynamically unstable preparation so care has to be taken that chemical as well as the physical stability of emulsion remains intact throughout the shelf life there should be no appreciable change in mean particle size of the size distribution of the droplets of dispersed phase and secondly the droplets of the dispersed phase should remain uniformly distributed throughout the system